disgraced Republican Senator John Ensign is resigning his Nevada Senate seat effective 11 days from today. Hmm, why May 3rd? It's a random Tuesday in May. Well, by resigning on May 3rd, Ensign avoids testifying before the Senate Ethics Committee on May 4th. <laughs> Funny coincidence. But why is Ensign's fall from grace so interesting? Well, one of the reasons is connection to C Street, a townhouse on Capitol Hill owned by a secretive Christian group known as the family. Already sounds nefarious. Conservative lawmakers have gone to C Street for cheap rent and spirituality lessons. But it is also known for something else. Its Republican members have churned out their fair share of sex scandals while professing to be good Christians, of course. Family values congressmen like John Ensign, who in 1998 demanded that President Clinton resign because of the Monica Lewinsky affair, calling it, quote, an embarrassing moment for the country. Clinton has no credibility left. This was also the same man who in 2004 said that the U.S. should amend the Constitution to keep same-sex couples from being allowed to get married because he knows so much about marriage and he's so good at it, right? Well, yes, that same man was then caught cheating on his wife with a staffer who was married to another one of his top staffers and also one of Ensign's best friends. But Ensign is just one of the C Street Don Juans. South Carolina Governor Mark Sanford also lived at C Street for a while and was receiving good old-fashioned spiritual guidance when he had his own affair. He talked about the group by name in his public statement about his Argentine lover. As part of a group called C Street, uh, when I was in Washington, it was a, uh, believe it or not, a Christian Bible study. Some folks who asked if members of Congress hard questions that um, I think were very, very important. And uh, I've been working with them. I love that he said, believe it or not. Like, I mean, come on, we're all having affairs, but it's supposed to be a Christian group, believe it or not. And yes, he worked through his problems at C Street, all the way through the Appalachian Trail, all the way to Argentina, where he ran into the arms of his lava, who he called his soulmate, by the way, while still married to his wife. All very classy guys. By the way, these C Street guys, I mean, they're all players. I, I don't know if it's all of them, but it's a lot of them. They're having so much forbidden sex, Hugh Hefner's getting jealous of their mansion. Look, it doesn't even end there. In 2009, Mississippi Congressman Chip Pickering was also involved in an affair while living at C Street. Maybe C stands for, come on in, ladies. 